what are you excited about for ninth grade in English? What are you nervous about and what can I do? Those are the things your letter should say. Flip the page, please. This is one version. You can do your homework right here. Don't copy that nice thing. You can do your homework right here on this page. You write, Dear Mr. Hester, and you tell me things about yourself. If you want to use the sentence starter page, that's cool. Flip the page again. If you don't like sentence starters, and you want to write it on a blank piece of paper, that's cool too. Take your pen or pencil and put it on the bottom line of this piece of paper. Do exactly what I'm doing right now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Pen or pencil on the bottom line. Then go up one line. Then go up another line. And draw a squiggly line right there. If your letter to me is shorter than that, that is an incomplete homework assignment, and you'll get homework center on Tuesday. If it is to this line or below, you're good. But it needs to be at least to that line. If you finish right here, that is incomplete, and you will get a zero. So make sure you finish at least to there. Flip back one page. If you choose to write it on this, you have to write a lot. So, period three, if you hand me homework and you're like, I would describe myself as nice because I'm nice. That's not good. That's bad. You need to write more because you're capable of writing more. So, I will say thank you. That is an incomplete homework assignment. You need to like fill up the space. Does that make sense? Like basically fill up the space. You don't have to write in every little thing. But as much as you can, it needs to be filled up. Call out the answer to this question, period three. Do you need to write on both sides? No. You only have to do one of those two sides. Raise your hand if you have questions about the letter to me. Period three, when, yeah. Yes, you can write it on other line paper. But it needs to be the same line that Good question. Or you can type in. Oh, one person in another class asked, um, can I do both sides? And I said yes. He's like, what would you say if I did both sides? And I said, I would say you would fly. So I'd give you a pat on the head. And I'd be like, great. You can do it on both sides if you like. Um, that's the homework. Put this, just flip it back to this page. We are done with homework. So on Tuesday, I'll expect to see the binder and that piece of paper. Um, the thing we're doing next is we are going to learn how I get the class quiet if we are talking. There are going to be times when you're talking and it's totally okay. And so I'm going to show you how we get it quiet. Um, repeat after me. So when we do that, when you hear me clap, it needs to be totally silent here. So here's what we're going to do. We're about to talk in partners, and we're going to speak in a dramatic voice about something that happened to us this summer. Track me with your eyes as I tell you who your partner is. You two are talking to each other. You two are talking to each other. You two are talking to each other. Heidi, you're going to go first. You two are talking to each other. You're going to go first. You two are talking to each other. You two are talking to each other. You two are talking to each other. You're going to go first. Pink, pur or purple, and white. You guys are going to talk to each other. Omar, you and what's your name again? Jeffrey, you're going to talk to each other. You two are going to talk to each other, and you're going to be part of it. Please don't want to see that, please. Um, and here's what you're going to talk about when you talk. Um, say this after me. This summer, I. Okay, now I need more drama. Um, so I need to hear. This summer, I. Oh, weak. Come on. Drama. Here we go. This summer, I. Yeah. All right, better. 
And you're going to tell your partner something that happened this summer, something you did this summer. And it may be nasty. Or it may be gross or inappropriate. If it is gross, inappropriate, and nasty, you are going to say it in appropriate language. There are no cuss words. There's only appropriate language allowed. So tell them something that you did this summer. This summer, I blocked. In every partner pair, there's one person who's closer to that door. If you're closer to that door, you're starting. <laughs> so if you're closer to that door, you're starting. Raise your hand if you don't know who's starting in your group. Yeah. It's only the person who's starting. Repeat after me. This summer, I. Yeah, yeah. Should we have the room? Do it again. This summer, I. I haven't signed in like three weeks. So. <laughs> One more time. I need drama for this person. Ready? Here we go. This summer, I. Right. So you're going to talk, and then the second person, when they're done, they go. And then I'm going to clap it quiet. Ready? First person, go. Are you guys together? Oh, I, I messed up. You guys go together, all three of you. I'm going to clap it quiet. So that was pretty good. Um, next time, we're going to try it. And here's the sentence starter. At my middle school, say it after me. At my middle school. Uh, more drama? At my middle school. And I want to hear about some of the drama that went down at your middle school. I know there was drama that went down at your middle school. And so what I want you to do is tell them about it in appropriate language. If you went first, you go second. If you went, if you're like in a three-person group, I don't care who starts, just start. In my middle school, you're gonna talk for like 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Good job. I heard some dramatic things that happened at your middle school. I'm sorry to hear that dramatic things happened at your middle school. Um, but now you know how I'm going to ask for your silence. That's one way I'm going to do it. By clapping it. <laughs> now what I'm going to do for the last few minutes of class, um, oh good, we have some time, is I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Right now all you really know about me is that I'm a strange white guy who asks you to clap in rhythms, and I'm strict, and then I give like verbal warnings over like nothing when you whisper. Um, you also might know that I have a shirt on right now, and I have hair on my head, and that um, you may know something about me from the retreat. You may know that I like uh, wore a white shirt at the retreat, or you may um, know other things. So what I want you to do right now is think, do not write. The things that you already know about me. Think about the things you already know about me. Um, and in total silence, and for 10 seconds, do not write a thing. Um, think about the things you already know. Now for the next one minute, in total silence, I want you to write three things you know about me. It could be that you think I'm a white guy. Or it could be that I'm your English teacher. It could be I have shoes on. I don't care what you write. Write three things you know about me. Ready, set, silently, go. Yeah. Yep. Everyone you can stop.
sum up or sum down. Right. Okay. In the left hand column, we have about 27 more seconds. You're doing everything that I ask for your degree. If you finish Can early, think about the next column. What is he saying? What does he call them? 303? 33? 3? Room 303? I, I didn't know. even hear him say that. A third period, so. Take more seconds, stay silently writing or thinking. Okay. So, as an interpreter, at this spot right here, All right. where he's giving first a countdown, who went first, would it be better to in first, interrupt your student you or talked, to let him go? And then the when it's who started you with stop, then you stop this them. Summer, so they can I, concentrate. You are going to read your I know. Because, okay, then so the second person is going to go. Okay? Hearing kids can so hear that, and go, so what? And I'm going to say, Malika, yeah. you're starting in your group, and Robert, you're starting 